heard some troubling news lately. Brandon Herrera that found out he was going to run a video talking about why the AR-15 sucks. And I... severely begged to differ. No more bullshit monkey ninja drill. Make every bullet count. And execute it like you actually believe the queen died of natural causes? That might have been a war crime. Shit happens in the heat of passion, Jimbo. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're all enjoying the uh, intro autism that we had there. Hopefully, uh, my mic is not muted and everything is going splendidly. But I do want to say thank you to everyone who is currently here uh, for the title of the video. We'll get into that topic, plus uh, some extra stuff coming up shortly. Now, let's see. So the first thing we should talk about, actually, is if I can pull this up. Probably should have had this prepped ahead of time, but that is going to be... Oh, I got to get rid of that. I literally had to Google what that meant. Let's see. This one right here. And I think I can share this one. So uh, Focus Shooting LLC is now... It is now selling optics. So if interested, you can go ahead and check that sort of thing out. Now, these are all set at map. However, magically, when you add something to cart they actually uh, lower in price. So even though they are set at map, you can get them for a little bit under that. I have primary arms and hollows and are the main ones that I'm selling right now, but they'll probably be more in the future at some point. Okay, now we should probably get into this gentleman next to me. This is the radio autist himself. This is Gary. So Gary, why don't you go ahead and induce, introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, yeah. Hi there. Uh, so um, my name is Gary. Uh, this is Gonquin. This is Al Gonquin. Um, I'm uh, I've been building guns for quite a while now, and uh, before that, I did communication stuff in the army. I was Space Force before it was cool. Um, I sent John a four thousand dollar optic. I mean, that is true. That me, is that. Maybe? Was that the first interaction that we had together back in Washington? Uh, no, no. You talked me out of buying an Olight first. Oh, yeah. That, that is actually funny because that does work really well for the topic of the stream today. Um, yeah. So um, we've talked a lot in the past. You did lend me your 4.5 to 27 ZCO optic as well as the Sega 12 gauge for yep. review. So some of the videos on the channel are directly responsible uh, by you, of course. Um, and you're also going to be helping me out doing the live streams once a week. So as of right now, that's what's going on. So um, let's go ahead and get into the main topic today. And that is going to be a new Olight shill campaign starting up. Now, I know that the live stream is actually having some issues right now. It actually dropped down to zero viewers. 
uh, which probably means that it didn't like some of the music or something in there. I probably should have checked that stuff ahead of time. But either way, this will be uploaded later as well. So Olight essentially is releasing a new product in May. Now, for some reason, they haven't removed me from their um, email list. So I'm still on their email list, which is a terrible idea. Um, but the main difference is, is they're coming out with a new product and a new promotional series along with it. Now, what they're doing is they're also offering paid collaboration. Now, certain YouTubers already have paid collaboration with Olight, like direct payments on top of affiliate marketing. Most of your average Olight reviewers are just on the affiliate side of things where they get a cut of each sale that they get. But this new campaign that is launching for this new product coming out, I believe it's in May. This new one is going to be um, dedicated paid content. And so your favorite YouTuber or whoever is reviewing these Olights for their new product might be getting a direct payment from Olight. And if they're not disclosing that sort of thing, that is an SEC violation. Now, there's plenty of SEC violations that go on in the YouTube space, especially in regards to Olight and some other companies um, as well. But Olight is very heavily pushed from some YouTubers because they make a lot of money from them. So that is what's going on with that. All right. So uh, moving on from there, I think the uh, yeah, SEC won't let me be. That's the one. All right. So moving on from there, we had to talk about Arrowhead Tactical, which is a really high quality clothing brand from what I uh, from what I've heard. I, uh, you know, you, you might have some experience with them. So, uh, so let's go ahead and talk about talk about their stuff. So I, I was uh when you invited me on for the stream, I was thinking about, you know, stuff that I could, stuff that we could talk about. And the very first thing my wife said was, you should probably tell everybody about these stupid sweatpants and how stupidly expensive they are and mm -hmm. how, how great of a quality they are. Uh, so Arrowhead Tactical, if you guys haven't seen it, is an athleisure brand uh, dedicated for concealed carry. Um, they're being pushed right now by... Uh, couple people with some pretty big names over a million uh, a million subscribers like um mm -hmm. uh, uh noir um and they're terrible like they're drop shipped straight from china they're like a 30 dollar pair of sweatpants that you can get from walmart and with some with some belt loops on the inside and they're just they're just not good like i i bought them i bought them when uh when the lockdowns first started and like three weeks later i had seams blow out and they, they suck don't don't waste your money on these things and and that just brings into uh, that that brings us to you know what it is that we're doing here, and this is you know stupid shit that we probably mm -hmm. shouldn't be wasting our money on. Wait, so we shouldn't buy these? I mean, they're ooh, they're on sale. Look, they're on sale. They're what? fifty dollars off right now. That seems like a good price. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I should have checked this beforehand. <laughs> they're almost I mean, reasonable. 60, Sixty-five dollars is better than one hundred and ten. Um. I think, Gary, that we are going to have to actually restart the stream, though, because it looks like YouTube did zuck the uh, the live stream for probably okay. some of that stuff. So let me just hit new stream and we'll probably we'll probably have to start it back up towards the beginning. So let's try that again. Do we want to do this whole thing again? Um not not the intro stuff, but let's see let's see if we can we can because well, why is here still going. I'm seeing somebody. Yeah, well that's the that's the rumble. So it's going live on Rumble right now. So we have ten people um, on Rumble with us. Um, I, I rumble people. Yeah, I know, but we lost we lost the whatever hundred or so that were on YouTube. Uh, so let's see let's see if I can fix that. Um, how do I want to do this? So do I have to end stream and then start again, or can I start a new stream? Hmm. I'm not sure how I want to do that. Hmm. YouTube, can I remove and then start again? Can I add another one? Uh, maybe I can add another one. Let's see. This might take me just a second, so. Take your time. Take your time. <clears throat> You can do it. As I said, I'm putting my own stuff on blast here. This is this is stuff oh, that yeah, I yeah. Really put on. So. Hmm. 
Give me a second. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to end it and then just start up again. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, uh, let's end the stream.